Hey! Hey, what's up, Matt? How's it going, Jay-Z? How's uh, everybody's night? Is everything good? Um, I just wanted to let everybody know I'm streaming. I'm here at 9. I'm going to get online. I may or may not fall asleep. So, one sec. I gotta tell somebody something. <laughs> All right, here we go. What game do I always start with? Anybody wanna feel that question? What's up, Toxic? How are you? We always start with a lot of sweater. Hola, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. So many players, in fact, you may want to get the people at the Guinness Book of World Records on the phone. All right. How many people we got? Two? Let's give it about a minute. Let's see if we got three. Got two. Three people. All right, let's start it up. All right, then. Before we get started, don't forget... New players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's begin. One. You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. The Save a Cloud Foundation donates $3 million a year to cloud research. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. I said lie. I hope your I hope your night's going good too. Cause polar bears to get colon cancer. Toxic dragon, what did you do today? Anything good? Snapple is a combination of the words apple and schnozberry. Hurt his Achilles tendon while playing Achilles in Troy. I said true. Dinner at Applebee's. Has anybody ever been to Texas Roadhouse? Edison hired someone to place a light bulb over his head whenever he had an idea. That's true. Ah! 
The first televised Olympics were hosted by Nazi Germany. No. TV wasn't available. I don't think. Apollo 11's computer was as powerful as a pocket calculator. And here's where everyone stands at the end of round one. Here are your next seven fact categories. Buffalo dung is an ingredient in baby powder. I don't think so. That would be terrible. Did you know baby powder is made from real babies? The FBI seized Nikola Tesla's patents for an earthquake machine. I'm gonna say true. Evil genius. <laughs> Antonio Banderas released a cologne named the Musk of Zorro. See, now I'm just letting people catch up. I think I've gotten four wrong so far. <laughs> Victoria's Secret model Carolina Kirkova has no belly button. I said true. I'll risk it. John Wayne absorbed his twin in the womb. I don't think so. Echidnas build their nests from their own feces. There are no wild snakes in New Zealand. <laughs> Here are your scores. 1960. Nobody's going to catch up to me. I almost feel For bad. the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is old ladies. Old Some ladies. of these old lady facts are true. Others we made up. Eleanor Roosevelt is buried under the Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's true. No, it's not. <laughs> Sex guru Dr. Ruth was a sniper trained by the Israeli military. True. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn had a line of clothing called Lady Slacks.
Cloris Leachman's birth name was Clitoris Wallace. Sure. TV chef Julia Child was a World War II era spy. I should have said true. <laughs> Helen Mirren appeared nude in Playboy at the age of 74. I think it's true. I guess not. The actress from the Where's the Beef commercial was a Titanic survivor. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Let's see the final scores. 3,150 points. Alright. See, that was just for funsies. Um, let me see. That Jackbox Party Pack. Here we go. I'll make it super easy. I'll pick the next jam. Let's see if anybody can guess the game that I'm picking. Anybody? Oh, you got it. Just for that, you win. I'm going to put it on the screen. Here it comes. Me, Matt, Latoya Jackson. All right. I'm going to give it about a minute. I'll see if anybody joins in, and then I'll start it. We are going to be streaming this till about 11 o'clock, maybe 11.15 tops. We'll see how it goes. At 9.16, we're going to start. <laughs> Still nine fifteen. Hey, Jay Z, you joining? All right, nine sixteen. I'm starting it up. I like the intro, by the way. Go 
Come on, wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But with like a fun party game twist. Need a mosquito, huh? I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight. Nope, Apparently, skip you want to skip my beautiful game rules. I'll remember that. Okay, first question. When did the Black Death hit its peak? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. You're in nice. for a treat. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. I hope you're not fond of snapping. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. End of instructions. It Looks like my puppies are eating well tonight. Mine are too. Here's how everyone's doing so far, but also know that who you are as a person is just as important. Alright, next question. What was the name of the funeral home on Six Feet Under? I really don't know. And the correct answer is... This one? I got it right. Never even watched the show. How about this? What country was the first to give women the right to vote in 1893? Probably wrong. I just know it wasn't United States. Who said this? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you. Well, howdy there! Welcome back to the killing floor! Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If you do the worst, you'll die of embarrassment. And also actually die. I should have led with that one. And voila! Look familiar? How close did you get? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Death is not the end. Another peek at the scores. Let's try another one. Which of the following cookies is produced by Nabisco? I guessed. Again. And the correct answer is... This one. But I guessed right. Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm. Too easy. Next question. Quick shout out to my fellow wordsmiths. Which of these words is worth the most points in Scrabble? Let's go someplace fun. Oh darn, this is such a mess. I spilled blood all over my favorite piece of art. Can I redo this? Don't worry. Memorize the pattern of blood. 
All right, that's enough time. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Here's well, the arch again. Let's no, see if you I'm slightly it. off. Gotta punish someone and you're it. The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Godzilla opponents. Tap on each ant. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Nice. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. A bunch of smart people, huh? Yep. Here's another one. The price is right, games. Oh no. They're gonna catch you. <clears throat> Can you stay out of the shadows? European capitals. Liverpool is not a capital. Puffin's not a mammal? Now you're alive. What a crazy game, am I right? Here comes the next question. New York City neighborhoods. Wow. You know I live in New York City area. How about that burger shark? It eats burgers. Letters in the Greek alphabet. I done messed up. You're gonna get it. Here's another one. States of Mexico. Get back so there. Here's another one. James Bond bogies. I just got it. I got this one. Good night. All right, where's Stefano when you need him?
I mean, I just won the last two games. I'm just that good. Oh, man. GZ, are you here? Let's see what I can play. You know what? Maybe I'll make Matt happy for once. Even if we only have three or four people to play, we can always play Guess Who and Hey, what's up, Daniel? How are you? I'm about to load Gespionage, and if I win this, then I'm gonna load up What the Dub. Attention, agents. Just a gentle reminder that falling in love with those you observe is frowned upon. Continue to pine from afar. Well, maybe I will. High five. I'm going to give it till 9.29. Reminder to all agents. The company picnic is this Friday. The time and location details are encrypted into algorithms, piggybacking on spam emails from a server promoting hair loss therapy. We still need spores. All right, I'm starting it up. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, we can see everything going on in the world. Did you know that Brad Pitt eats a full loaf of bread every morning? The government uses this information for whatever, but we use it to play... Yespionage! Off we go! Who's up first? Maybe we'll get lucky and this'll hack Bill Gates' account. Oh, there's Stefano. What percentage of people could not tell you their current checking account balance within $10? I don't think I could. Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is. We have an answer. 75%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Hi, Dad. Believe it. Believe it. Yeah, happy Easter, Stefano. Running out of time. Hope everything's going good for you. The majority say lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 61%. That's what we call in the ballpark. All right. Who said lower? Here's some points. Next up. I'm going to search for... What percentage of adults have played Truth or Dare after turning 30? Um... 45%. I don't think it's a big number. 50%. Everyone pick higher or lower. Hi, Dad. Believe it. Lower across the board. Okay, let's see the right answer. 21%. Oddly enough, after retirement age, that percentage goes up to 89%. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? 
Oh, this is going to be good. What percentage of people believe that they are convincing liars? Sixty percent. All Oof. right, what do you think? You'd actually have to work hard to be a good liar. It's always much easier to tell the truth. Hurry up. <laughs> Most of you are saying higher. And Surveil says... 60%? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You nailed it. Now don't get a big head, but I think you're perfect. You get all the points for this one. Sorry, everyone else. next Matt how'd you do it oh here's one we've been especially interested in don't ask why what percentage of people have accidentally walked in on their parents having sex no 69% Okay, higher or lower? Fuck yeah. 69%. Believe it. Time's running out, higher or lower? <laughs> People are thinking it's lower. And the correct answer is... 62% of the correct answer. So you don't get any points. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. Next up. Believe it. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people have eaten tater tots in the past month? Oh, I wish I did. Seventy-six percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? My dad. I don't think so. What do you think? Higher or lower? Most people said lower. And Surveil says... 37%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Can you keep that lead after round two? Time to find out. Okay, who's first? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of men have their hair cut at establishments that display barber's poles? Um, we have an answer 50%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 50% or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. Hi, Dad. We leave it. Out of time. People are saying lower. Okay, right answer is 24%. Only 24%. Clearly, Supercuts doesn't have barber poles. Really? Who got it right? Well done. You get points. 
And what have we here? Great answer. Double points for saying much lower. Okay, who's up next? But wait, there's more! What percentage of people have bought as seen on TV or infomercial products? What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Wow. Foolish. Believe it. Just one person says lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. Sixty-six percent. That was a respectable guess. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Who's next? Awkward to the max. What percentage of people have played Cards Against Humanity with a parent or grandparent? Everyone else, higher or lower? I believe it. Foolish humans. I got 4,000 points. Wow, Matt's winning this. Hurry up. People are saying lower. And the correct answer is... 30%. This demographic also most likely to smoke weed with a grandparent. Who got it Matt's right? winning. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Next up. Hi, Dad. That's me. Game shows on television. Adorable. What percentage of people watch Wheel of Fortune at least once a week? Um, I'm going to say it's slightly high. 60%. Okay, higher or lower? <sighs> I'm running out. Higher or lower? People said lower. Okay, right answer is. Wow, way lower. It's the same amount of people who also live in nursing homes at least once a week. Let's see who got it right. Smart guess. I did points. not get it right. Okay, who's up next? <sighs> what should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people have hidden their boogers underneath furniture? One hundred percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Hi, Dad. It's much higher. Foolish. What do you think? Higher or lower? Much higher. People are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 65%. Just because people do it doesn't mean it's cool. It's not. Who got it right? It's not. Well done. You get points. I see what you did there. Uh, 
Uh-oh, final round time. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. Which superhero's insignia would most people wear on a t-shirt? All right, let's see the answers. Oh, this is so simple. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Good luck. If you're in the audience, how you answer the question will affect who gets points. There's only three I would wear. Special someone. Damn it. Stefano, congrats. You beat me up by a hundred. You won a game that should probably be illegal. I'm so proud of you. All right. I am going to load. What the dub? Congratulations, man. You beat me by a hundred. It's time for the world's most popular video game, What the Dub! Dude, Matt beat us all by like 6,000. Play WTD.com and enter your room code. Anybody else? All right, start it up. Welcome to What the Dub. The rules are simple. Each round, a video will play with missing dialogue. Each player enters their wittiest replacement dub. Players watch the dubs and vote on the best one. The player with the highest score at the end of the game wins. It's just that easy. Round one. Hey, what's up, Emma? And I give good...
No, no, it's not going to be dirty. Why would you think that? And I give good blowjobs to Pogo. Fuck yes. Oh, sorry. And I give good B H B G Y I G U T U F Y U B H J S B S H B S H B S S J B S J S B B S H B S Hodge. And I give good boobs. And I give good hair jobs and hand jobs. What's a hair job? And I give good Zmeg. I don't think Stefano said that. And I give good head. Vote now or forever hold your peace. Alright. The person that said the nonsense word. If you say a nonsense word again, I'm just gonna kick you. You get one shot. What's a hair job? Better hurry. I don't know, but I want one. You're as fit as a butcher's dog, kid. Way nice. Go. Nice again. Who's stinking up the joint? Wowza! Round two! A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. Time to shake the world, kid. Enter your dub. Na, 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 na. A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. Fuck me, Pogo. A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, okay. but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. No. <laughs> Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. Flip it around and give it some meat. Then put it in the bun and get to your feet. A customer orders a single. What do you have in it? The way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. Shove off the grease and the customer is to please. A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right, keep it neat. What the hey? Who wants to work at McDonald's anyway? A customer orders a single with cheese. Here's the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right. Keep it neat. Yellow cheeseburger. All right, that one's bad. Cheese is the way you do it if you wanna please. Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot, but don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot. Tool it up, lay it off on the meat. Do it right. Keep it neat. Yacht chicken strips. Which dub did you like best? Vote now. I'm voting for Stefano's. Noodles and teriyaki chicken. And some gourmet 
ice cream for dessert. Hustle! Hustle! You're headed to Nowheresville, kid. Try harder. Round three. We present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? <laughs> present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? What are you waiting for? Enter your dub. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to win this. Not that we present wrong with it. Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? She has a fantastic body. No, she doesn't. We present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? Yes, she has pretty nipples. All three of them. We present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? She certainly does. Emoticon sorridente. We present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? I want to ride Pogo's biscuit so fucking badly. We Why wouldn't you? Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? Love your nipples. I mean, moves. I mean, I should take ya to coffee first. We present Karen Lesko. Hi, Karen. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples there, John? What the hey? B H S S S S S S B H S S S S S S B H S S S S. Vote or don't. The choice is yours. Here, Stefano, I vote of yours. Just vote already. Script on that one. Great work. Classic ignoramus. Grab your martini glass. Next up is the final round. Well, I don't think so. Last time you were here. <laughs> we did. Well, I don't think so. Last time you were here. <laughs> we did. Show him you're not just a pretty face. Enter your dub.
Hurry up! Well, I don't think so! Last time you were here- You spiked the carry sauce and made us all sick. <laughs> we did! Well, I don't think so! Last time you were here- Hogo took a shit in my mouth. No, I did not. No, I didn't. <laughs> we did! Well, I don't think so! Last time you were here- You fucked my wife, my brother, and the three dogs. <laughs> we did! Well, I don't think so! Last time you were here- Wanted to put me on a grill and rub barbecue sauce all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> we did! Well, I don't think so! Last time you were here- You used me as a video game and you thought I was a strawberry. <laughs> we did! What did you think was the best? Vote! Tell you something. I did not shit in anyone's mouth. No one's. Poignant and funny, you have a gift. Wow, Matt. You got a face for radio, kid. Thanks, Matt. Did I win? Kid, you're slicker than snot on a doorknob. High score! Ouch! Your jokes need a page one rewrite, buddy. All right. Thanks to everyone who played, except that one guy who wasn't even trying. He means slick. All right, um, how about this? Let's see if somebody can read my mind. Stefano, what game am I thinking of right now? Oh shit. No, I said Stefano. I said Stefano, silly. Hey, what's up? Are you ready? Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Don't say any stupid names. Otherwise, I'm going to go to private codes only. Plus, Emma has to get in. Otherwise, I'm going to restart the game. The room code is T J N S. The room code is T J N S. Oh, here, I'll let me share it on my, uh, not saved. Oh. Well, you can get in. Only type it to you. There you go. I'll wait till, I'll wait till she gets in, and then I'll go get some more M&Ms, and I'll start it up. Why is there an echo? You gotta be fucking kidding me.
Nobody tells me that there's an echo. It's my laptop. All right, Emma's in. Let's start it up. You have traveled to this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all-knowing wheel of enormous proportions. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Is Should everything be better chosen, with bacon on top of it? Question mark. Will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. a question, a random one will be assigned to you. Wonderful. The Great Wheel awaits you now. The waitress at Alphalese told you I possessed infinite wisdom, but you'll only find your car keys if you win at my trivia game. Looks like it's no tutorials today for the Too Cool for Tutorials crew. Game time! It's a good time to play and a great time to receive two slices. Oh man! Talk about your benevolent wheels. Oh, what a good wheel. We will start with question one. Which colorful names are characters from Cats? I may be a wise, all-knowing wheel, but please don't ask me what a jellical cat is. The answers that fit are calling to you. They're saying, tap me, I'm correct. You know, you know, if you were a sponsor and you didn't get in, I'd restart the game for you. Not even kidding. And what were the correct answers? How did you compare? How can that be? You're the good ones, because your score is so good. And then there's you. That's two slices I've given you. Mm, question two, anyone? Which of these veggies are, weirdly enough, fruit? I mean, who would have thought, aside from me? I know everything. Some answers are more tappable than others, am I right? All right, I guessed. But did I guess right? How about some answers, baby? What did you say? I don't believe it. Another slice. Question three and power slices are totally a thing. You're gonna knock this one out of the park. Which of these feature films has the longer runtime? This is gonna be one competitive round. If you can't decide which one to pick, go with the one with more letters. That works like 50% of the time. I bet your fingers hurt from tapping. Just push through the pain. Oh shit, I got 10. The winner is you. Are you Still not ready close for enough. something 
shiny. Our flight. Now hurry up the mountain. I'm lonely over here. Welcome to the mountaintop. Giant snake free since 1673. Choose the slots on my face to socket your slices. I'm definitely not winning this game. Get those slices. The first spinner in this round? Well, that's you, silly. Ramalama Ding Dong! It's your time to shine. Power slice. It's the power slice. This one is in the bag. Slice owner, come to me. Choose any slice and it'll duplicate atop the slices next to it. Will you make more of your slices, or cover up other people's stuff? How do you become a sponsor? Um... Do wait, how do you become a sponsor? Alright, if that's the slice you want... The next spinner is already standing right beside me. Emma, you wanna let him know? Do me a favor. Okay, why not? The last spin really amps things up. Spin like it's your last spin of the round. Twice the pot, but divided by many. Let's do a quick recap. Personally, I'm rooting for you. We feel the same way about the movie Titanic, and it makes me feel closer to you. I mean, you guys have known a me for months, for my even crew. years. What's five bucks among friends? I'd like to introduce you to question one. Which of these are varieties of salmon? Tap the answers that fit the prompt. Makes sense to me. All right, prepare yourself for the truth. But is that what you said? Wow. The sequel to question one, right, cool. question two. I'm gonna give you a series of clues to help you answer this question. Which historical leader am I thinking of? You're gonna need some clues, right? He was from the ancient Greek Abraham Lincoln. of Macedonia. Huh. Um. He conquered the Persian Empire before the age of 32. What's your excuse? He was tutored by Aristotle. When he was younger, he dealt hey, with Can we play the t-shirt or a nap game? Sorry, or rap game? Bad. Yeah, sure. I called it. We're playing the t-shirt game next. The city of Alexandria in Egypt. Because of his military victories, he earned the epithet, The Great. The clues are all dried up. You got an answer for me? Alexander... The Great.
two slices is better than one. I guess question Joe Biden. Oh, yeah, okay. That's right. The power slice question. You're going to get 100 this time. I'm sure of it. Which achievement in the history of space exploration happened first? It's time to beat your personal best. I believe in you. Quickly choosing between two things? What kind of sadist would make you do that? Oh, I'm not winning. It's the home stretch now. Keep tapping. You know what they say. That's one small step for man, one giant slice for whoever did the best in that round. It must be you. you. The time has come. Behold, our flight. Oh, well, now I'm all fired up for a set of spins. Get over here. Now that you're here, please gently adorn my face with your slice. Choose carefully is what a concerned person might say. goes to you what do you know about that I'm ready for a new spinner Why am I dead last? Next spinner. I can't hold this spin much longer. Power slice. You landed on the power slice. Stretching that lead. We don't need a bonus effect, because you're spinning the winner wheel! Get over here, you. You're about to win the game. Don't let me down! Where will I stop? Even I don't know! It ain't curtains yet. You can still win next spinner, so make this a good one! Oh boy, the spin is about to... Hey, hey! The last spin really raises the stakes. I had a feeling you'd be our last spinner. Right now, give us a photo is gonna win right now. Oh, we're not done yet. You guys want to see my sick tattoos? Just kidding, it's your six scores. Ow! One of you is on the verge of winning. Oh, I can't stand it! Not just one, but two slices for you. I've got a strong desire to give you question one. Here's one just about everyone should know. A white leghorn holds the record for the most eggs laid by a chicken in one year. How many eggs did she lay? Don't lay one yourself now. 
You want to be so close that the right answer says, hey, give me some personal space, but you refuse to do so. As for you in the audience, vote for the player you think will do best. If the majority of you choose the best player, you'll earn a special slice of your own. Submit a number, now or never. How did you answer? Hmm, is your answer this? Reminds me of a good omelet question, but I'll hang on to that one for later. The audience was off the mark this time. One just isn't enough. Question two kind of sneaks up on you, right? Which of these are things that could be broken in your canoe? Tap the answers that fit and totally ghost the ones that don't. Hey, what's with all the awesome clouds in this game? Oh, thanks for asking. I'm so glad someone appreciates all the crappy set pieces I set up for you weeks in advance. Now feast your eyes on these juicy answers. Take another. Question three and a power slice go hand in hand. Which woodwind instruments may be found in an orchestra? A couple of these are not obvious, but they are woodwinds and have been part of orchestras. There are but eight correct answers. Try to name them all before time runs out. Clarinet. Typing time is almost over. Flutophone. Do these answers ring a bell? I choose you. Don't stare directly at it. It's like the sun. Our flight! Bing! So it's time for some spins. Let's go! Your journey brought you here, where you'll stick magical slices in my face. That wheel on your browser may look like me, but it's actually my little brother, the wheel of tappable interfaces. But what about the audience, right? They have two slices this round to stir up trouble. My face is craving your slices. Come on. Oh, how I've dreamed that you'd be our first spinner. I'm slowly slowing down. It's a pod split. You know what this means. Come on down. You can win it right here. Let me guess, Stefano. And so, your most pressing question will now be answered. You gotta spin me one last time now. Not what 
you expected, was it? What can I say? Life's unpredictable! Emma, wouldn't you know that? I mean, you'd think you would know, because, you know, there's no such thing as 10%. But, um... Emma, what would you like to play? Oh, we can do wheel again. I don't care. I'll play it again. But I'll stay out of it so everybody wins. But Jay-Z, think about... Think about becoming a sponsor at some point. It's fun, and I'll give you codes first if I have to. What's five bucks among friends? Know what time it is? It's time for a room code. Z know what time it is? K it's time I for a room w code. W Z know what time it is? K it's time for a room code. W Z know what time it is? It's time for a room code. Ready? Know what time it is? It's time for a room code. Z K I W Z K I W Z. Looking for a room code? It's Z K I W Z. Yeah, no problem, Stefano. Wait a minute. Emma? Wait a minute. You want it again, right? Wait a minute. You want it again, right? I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna restart it. God damn it. Motherfucker. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Motherfucker. This fucking. I put my controller down here. Wait. No. Yeah, I know. I have my laptop. I put my controller down and it opens up the fucking sound. So. Alright, sorry. Don't worry, I'll fix it and I'll give you a code first, Emma. Watch. This is what I do for sponsors. Black out the screen. How do I leave? Don't worry about it. Now I put it back on the screen. And then I go R H. There you go. I'm going to put that in my bio. Code is R-H-Q-I. Maybe, Matt. Let's see if you'll win. All right, start it up. Three, two, one. 
you have traveled to this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all-knowing wheel of enormous proportions. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. A different one? Yeah, I'll play. I'll play a different one. I'll play like part two. If you can't come up with a good question, we'll get you... Excellent. The Wheel of Enormous Proportions will see you now. You traveled long and far seeking knowledge, but have to play my trivia game first? What's that about? Yeah, I see somebody got cocky and decided to skip the tutorials. We'll see how that works out for you. Welcome back, the wheel said, with two slices for you. Who just gives away slices? Me. Question one works for me. Which shows are produced by Shonda Rhimes? As for you in the audience, vote for the player that you think will do the best. If the majority of you choose the best player, you'll earn a special slice of your own. seconds left so make him count okay okay now here's what we were looking for I don't believe it you must be drinking brain juice with scores like that since you did the very best that's two slices I've given you. Let's keep up this momentum with question two. As of 2021, which of these were actual dating apps? Sometimes I imagine myself growing hands with fingers on them, so I can tap the correct answers just like you. Remember when they built the first pyramid? I told Egypt it was a bit much, but <laughs> what do I know about being big and ostentatious? That's it, and the answers were... Really? You did so good, I'm calling you out. Enjoy. Take another. Question three and a power slice go hand in hand. Maybe this one is more your speed. Which religious founder was born first? How about a bigger score than last time? Would that be wrong? My decision is you! Don't stare directly at it, it's like the sun. Our flight! Well, now I'm all fired up for a set of spins. Get over here! So glad you can join me up here with all those slices you have. 
Select the slots on my super big face to place your slices. But what about the audience, right? They have two slices this round to stir up trouble. Get those slices down quick or you'll lose them. Oh, how I've dreamed that you'd be our first spinner. Well, if you don't spin me, I'll just rotate on my own. Mm, how about that? It's your time to shine. I'm almost stopped. Now, uh, power slice. That would be the power slice. Stand by me, slice owner. Choose a slice and watch it duplicate on top of the slices next to it. This is a slice for the strategic players. I just hope that's you. Okay, let's make a few more slices. You ready, new spinner? I can't hold this spin much longer! Gradually slowing down and... All right, yeah! It's time for the last spin. God, where does the time go? The last spin is all in your tiny meeple hands. It's a pot share. I think we should get hypercritical about your point totals. Hey, what if these two started a business together? I'll get the ball rolling with some buzzwords. Ice cream, hang gliding. Damn, I'm good. Imagine having two slices, then stop imagining because here they are. I've got a strong desire to give you question one. Which of these are fictional AIs? It's gotta be artificially intelligent and it's gotta be fictional. Tap the answers that fit and totally ghost the ones that don't. Only a few more TikToks and we're done here. Good job, provided you answered like this. What am I looking at? Coming. I'm sure you can match all of these. Match the Star Trek actor to the character they played. Match up things that have to do with each other. When I finally retire, I think I'll turn myself into a crab and live under the sea. I'm all about that crustacean life. Hurry up! 
So, what matched after all? I don't believe it. Another slice. Let's get you a power slice. Just do good on this last question, okay? Which of these are Nintendo games that feature Luigi? I was always more of a toad man myself. The little mushroom guy, not the amphibian. When you see an answer that fits the prompt, give it a little tap. That's what I would do. on this time to fare. Hey, recognize these answers? It looks like it's you. You're the one for me. What amazing thing is this? Our flight. With the power slice in hand, the Meeples brave the summit. Oh, I'm so happy you made it up the mountain. I used to host a game from the Labyrinth of Pain and Despair. This is going much better. Pick a perfect place to put him. That's what I would do. is craving your slices. Come on! With great consideration, I've selected you to spin first. Well, that's something. New spinner! You still there? I need a big spin, you know? Hello! You're up! Okay, why not? Hey, how about a spin from a new spinner? It's a pod share! Just one last spin? I'm freaking out! The last spin duties fall on your oh-so-small shoulders. The time to spin me is running out. some input from our fun and feisty audience. Do you want me to give points to the player with the most slices showing on my face or the fewest slices? Everyone vote on your device now. Holding out for just a few more votes. Ooh, I can't wait to see what you all said. The mob has spoken! There's two sides to every wheel, and one of them has your scores. Do you think this is my best side? Uh, you know, I don't even want to know. Let's move on. 
I got a shiny new pair of slices for you, my crew. Can you believe you're about to play question one? Match the sushi dish to its ingredient. I want to see everything match. Go! Look at my little Yentas making their little matches. Time is coming to an end. Finito. Now let's see what matched. Oh, wow. Yeah, that just makes sense. Oh, you have all the points you need now. Have another one. The sequel to question one, question two. Which of these are recognized baby sleep training techniques? Tap the answers that fit the prompt. Makes sense to me. Hey, you guys like lounge music? I'm talking rap hat stuff. Sinatra, Dino. When's that coming back? Hey, Stefano, are you winning? Your Again? Your time is ticking away. Yep, he's winning. All right, prepare yourself for the truth. Bing. Question three and power slices are totally a thing. What rhymes with fort? One syllable common words. Just one syllable common words. And what do we. Here's a little Easter egg for you. When I was an up and coming deity, my nickname was Bort. And no, you do not get to call me that. There are 12 correct answers. Try to type them all in before time runs out. Answers ring a bell. What is a fine slice earning choice there, audience? I choose you. Check this out. Our flight. You're welcome. Step into my parlor. Now that you're here, please gently adorn my face with your slice. I'm eager to spin. Let's get those slices down. Time is ticking away. Don't miss out on this opportunity. start this spinning adventure off with you. Where will I stop? Even I don't know. Well, okay. Eight. 
It's your turn. And what if you used your device to spin me? That'd be a fun thing to happen. I'm about to stop and... All right, not bad. You ready for a new spinner? Cause I sure am. Hurry up! I don't want to spin without you! This is gonna be the spin to tell your grandkids about! Multiple winners! Oh no, oh! Get over here, you! This could be the winning spin! And the game continues! You can still win this one next spinner. Show me what you got! I'm slowly slowing down. What a good thing for all of you. What? Get out of here! You can win right now. Give us a spin. Never say die, meeples! It's not too late to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat! And what if you used your device to spin me? That'd be a fun thing to happen. Uh -oh. I'm so pleased. I see happy meeples coming after this spin. No. This no. could be the very last spin of the game. Slowing down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and so, it is finally time to answer your most personal question. Go on. You're one spin away from the truth you seek. And so it was. The answer shines bright like a ray of hope. Well, hmm. All right. Oh, my breath. Alright, you're looking for Quiplash, right? Let me load it up. We might have another two games left. And then I gotta go get some rest. Quiplash, XL. Oh wait, this is a different one. It's this it's Quiplash 2. It's from Party Pack 2.
All right. Anybody else? You got 10 seconds. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6, 5. Uh-oh. All right, start it up. We'll see how it goes. below the belt this is round one you'll see two prompts on your device answer them any way you want each answer will go up against someone else's answer and everyone will vote on which they like most it's simple you'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer have at it See, if anybody asks a really, if anybody says something really bad, um, then it'll be a really, really quick game. into when you suddenly need to vomit. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. That's fine. Is that a quiplash? It is. Name for tater tots. Vote on your devices. It's voting time. Ding, 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 ding. Reason to call nine one one. Time to vote. Sex gone wrong. I'm guessing that involves zip ties. But how would you call nine one one then? Here comes a clip lash.
Next up, it's bad to be buried alive. It's worse to be buried alive with blank. Oh, that's Where not nice. Hey, Emma, I just sent you a message. Oh man, here comes a quiplash. You guys are getting hella quiplashes. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Nah. Hey, what's up, Kit? Kit, we might have one more game in us, and then I'm gonna head out. Just letting you know. Still not asleep. You'd think I'd be sleeping on the stream by now. There's still time. For some quip lashing. First one, tomorrow's news headline. Scientists are shocked to discover that blank. Okay, pick your favorite. What? Lesser known night of the round table, Sir Blank. It's voting time. Question to ask during a White House tour. Vote on your devices. And Frankenstein's neck are for. Time to vote. Handles for the ride. That's what I vote for. Starts with assistant. Vote on your devices. Assistant pooper. I don't know. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, Emma, check Discord real quick. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Our prompt is... The punchline to an off-color Star Wars joke. this round to spread out any way you like or give them all to one answer. Vitamin D, D's, that's Blue Gamer Stepfather. Oh wait, somebody said the t-shirt game. I forgot about it. Is someone still here for the t-shirt one? Maybe we'll end with that. Take a look at the final scores. <laughs> All right, so last game, probably. I'm going to load up TKO. How's that for everybody? Does that work? You guys okay with TKO? See, we got seven people watching. Let's get at least five people in. Alright. Let's see if anybody joins. If anybody joins, great. If not, then maybe I'll head out too. Night, Emma. I O A O I really don't think we're going to have anybody join here. Stefano last. Stefano left. Um Oh, is Matt we got two people. Do we have three? If we have three, we'll start it. We only got two people. All 
Alright. I think I'm gonna end things. We only got two people here watching. We only got five people watching, two people that'll join. Um so I'll see everybody on Tuesday. I might stream something tomorrow, but who knows? We'll see how it goes. Alright. I'm out.